The committee that we appointed to uh, draft a new constitution has completed uh, their work. We received a preliminary document about uh, four weeks ago, but we asked them to do further modifications. And so last week we received a document which uh, we are going to be reviewing at the executive committee level. And from there, we will forward it to the board of directors you know, for their input, uh, after which it's going to come to the community for review, discussion, and then a referendum. But the key components of what we are trying to achieve with the Constitution is, as we said, we wanted to reform the structure of the organization into that of a corporate structure, to have a board of directors that is responsible for appointing an executive director. So if that constitution is approved by the community, and we're very confident based on our consultations that this is what the Liberian community wants, we will be voting for a board of directors from here forth. And that board of directors will be responsible for uh, appointing an executive director. So we're not going to have this election for president anymore. Uh, a part of what we want to do with the Board of Directors is also to expand that board to include more people and to bring on uh, some outside directors from you know, the larger community who can bring additional resources uh, to the organization such as perhaps you know, more resources in fundraising, more resources with respect to different perspectives of managing a nonprofit uh, organization. We think that that is something that's going to be substantially uh, helpful to the, the primary modifications will be in the structure, uh, that instead of having a president and vice president and a board of directors that are all elected separately, we won't have elections for president anymore. We will have elections for board of directors. Uh, we also want to institutionalize some provisions uh, to ensure that uh, the finances of the organization are maintained in a streamlined fashion. For example, that elections commission will not be allowed in the future to collect money. Any fees that are due in connection to elections will have to be paid to the treasurer. Okay. And if all goes well, uh, when will this uh, constitution actually go into effect? Uh, we intend that it will go into effect upon ratification. And so there's not like yeah. a particular time frame. Well, they, hopefully we can do that before the, the second half of the year. Second half of this year? Of this year, yes. Okay. And so um, there, are very, there are different issues within the Constitution. Is there a part of the Constitution that, uh, besides the structure, besides the, um, the board, are there any other particular references that, you know, we want to talk about tonight? Well, the, the document is still under review on the executive committee level. The board is going to have its input. The community will have their input. So uh, we just received it. We haven't had the time to go through it thoroughly and digest it in terms of where we think we ought to be making input. Uh, and so it's kind of premature to be discussing that. But that's something we'll look forward to doing in the next.